What is up, world? This is Will Billy, Two Fist McGee with Next Level Guitar, y'all. What is going on? How y'all feeling? I hope great, man, because you should be feeling great. You guys are all really, really talented, and you guys have some chops, and you guys are looking to improve and just learn something. So right on. Power to you. Check it out. Uh, right now, I've got a two-handed lick for uh, like halftime type stuff, you know? It adds a little bit of... Uh, some kind of wickedness, you know? I mean, um, it, it's a little bit of advanced, but uh, I, I really think that, that, that you can do it, and uh, I'm gonna be here to show you. Um, it's a two-handed lick, and we're, we're basing it just on uh, the pedal tone, the pedal chord is just, uh, just in uh, A5, open, muted. And I'm using my first finger to, to add the little gliss by sliding it. And uh, by, by doing this, it adds a little, uh, a little, a little it makes, it makes the, uh, the E5 a little more mysterious sounding than an ominous snap, Danny, because you have this weird, creepy melody that's played with two hands. three notes per string, but there's a little bit of stretching, but it's not too bad. Uh, starting on the E string, my first finger is on the fifth fret. My second finger is on the sixth fret. My fourth finger comes down here on the eighth fret. Then going to the A string, my first finger starts on the fifth fret. My second finger comes down here on the sixth fret. Then my pinky stretches a little bit. It's so over here on the ninth fret. Then coming down to the D string here. Okay, D string. Uh, first finger starts on the fifth fret. Then it's my third finger starts on the seventh fret. Then my fourth finger comes down here on the eighth fret. And then repeating the same pattern on the G string, my first finger starts on the fifth fret. My third finger comes down here on the uh, seventh fret. And my fourth finger comes down here on the eighth fret. And then moving to the next uh, string, which is the B string, my first finger starts here on the uh, seventh fret. My second finger comes down here on the eighth fret. And my pinky comes down here on the tenth fret. And coming back here on the E string, my first finger starts on the uh, sixth fret. My second finger stretches a little bit and comes down to the 8th fret. And my pinky here comes down here on the 10th fret. So when you play the scale, it sounds something like this. Practice that scale forwards and backwards just where you get a really good feel of it and it becomes second nature. So the first part is the chordal part and I'm bouncing a rhythm off the of the E5 right here. Now what I'm doing is I'm palm muting just lightly not heavily but lightly resting my hand on the bridge and just slightly touching the strings. Not a whole lot, just enough to give some punch. And the picking is down and up, so it's alternate. You can do it down. But to kind of give the whole thing as far as all the notes being playing, a lot of respect, tack down and come back up. The next part is just the, is the tapping part. And it's a series of hammer-ons, pull-offs, and um, using both hands here. So the first part uh, is on the B string. And my first finger starts on the uh, seventh fret here. And I hammer the rest on. So my second finger hammers on to the eighth fret. And my fourth finger is hammered on as well, and that's on the tenth fret. And on the next string, which is the, the E string, my first finger starts on the sixth fret. My second finger is on the eighth fret and my last finger is on the tenth fret
And then the, the, the gliss of this is uh, I'm hammering down on the E string and I'm sliding back to the, uh, to the 11th fret. So I'm hammering down on the 12th fret, sliding back to the 11th fret, and then pulling off the rest of the notes. So as, as, as you execute it, you pick once, hammer down, hammer down, pick, hammer down, hammer down, hammer, slide, pull off, pull off, pull off, pull off, uh, hammer, pull off, pull off. So, thing with this one is it's got a little flavor to it, but you can use any type of scale, major, minor, uh, dominant, seventh, whatnot, anything to add a little more uh, substance to whatever melody that, that you got going. Um, with things like that, it also opens up big time for other instruments. And like I said, I love writing music for not just myself, but like, you know, having the whole band jump in on something, it, it was, the power section of that with the bum 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 could be really super accident with drums and bass. And if you have another guitar player, maybe you're both doing a harmony, uh, maybe not at the same time, but you know, holding one guy holding on the rhythm, and then like say every second or third time coming in and doing the harmony with that. And like I said, you can apply it to to, to any form of a scale. Um, another thing is with the gliss, it's just a gliss. You can choose the notes within that. I'm just showing you from just the basic pattern from uh, using the Phrygian, the uh, D Phrygian major right there, of where you can go and getting your hand in position. One thing about that is when you're doing the two-hand stuff, that not to always pick back here. Kind of uh, arrange where your, your hand's more around, uh, if you have a neck pickup, your neck, or just the, the more or less the bottom um, uh, of, of your fretboard. That way it's a lot easier to reach. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying it's easier to, to go from pop 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 then slide because you're right here as opposed to right there, which you know some players might say, well, it might not really matter, but you know a few inches does, you know, and um, you can um, just kind of keep that going and just run with it. You know, like like I said, these lessons are for your not not just for you just to just to use in your band or, or whatever, but to to kind of open your mind to like what else what else can you do, you know, and um, let it run with it. Like I said, practicing in the dark is actually really, really good for this kind of music because it, uh, it definitely does open up uh, your, your imagination uh, after a short period of time. A little bit of visual deprivation never hurt anybody. And like I said, music is what you hear. Now, this has been Will Billy, Two Fists McGee with Next Level Guitar. Keep it rocking and always keep it metal.